Hey guys, in this video I'll go over autopilot for the Hornet. You can open the autopilot menu by pressing this button. These are the different modes. The first mode is attitude hold. This mode will hold your current pitch and bank. If you press it, it'll turn it on and you can see the colon right here. And you can also see which autopilot modes you have turned on by looking at your left screen right here. Keep in mind, even if it shows that your autopilot mode is on, in order for it to start working, your stick has to be centered. You can make sure your stick is centered by holding right control on your keyboard and pressing enter to open this menu on the bottom left. And you need to make sure the diamond is in the middle. You can turn off the autopilot mode by pressing the button again, or you can press this key binding right here. The next mode is heading select. If you press it, the autopilot will fly to your heading that you have selected with this knob here. If you use the knob, you can see the little heading bug move around, and you can also type in a heading you want. As you can see, it's not activated right now because I need to move my stick right in the center. Once I have it perfectly centered out, then it will activate heading mode. Then you have the two altitude hold modes. B alt will hold your barometric altitude. If you press it and you don't see the colon, it's because your stick is not centered out. Once you center your stick out, you can see the colon come and the altitude hold mode will turn on. R alt will hold your radar altitude, but keep in mind the highest altitude you can be at is 5,000 feet above the ground for the radar altitude hold because that is the highest altitude at which the radar altimeter will work. Last autopilot mode is coupled mode. Coupled mode only can work if you have a waypoint selected, tack and selected, or if you have a weapon selected with the azimuth steering line. If I press my waypoint here, you can see now I have the coupled option, and if I press that, the plane will fly over to my waypoint. If you have auto selected here for automatic waypoint mode, then once you reach your current selected waypoint, it'll automatically switch to the next one, and the coupled autopilot mode will keep flying to it. Coupled mode has two settings. If you press data and go to waypoint, you can select the overfly setting. If you select that, then the plane will fly directly over the waypoint point before it turns to the next one. If you have overfly unboxed, then the plane will not fly directly over your waypoints. It'll kind of curve into the next waypoint. The other option you have here is if you go to aircraft, you can set tack blim or nav blim. If you have tack blim, it'll let the plane do a 60 degree bank. And if you have nav blim, it'll let it do a 30 degree bank. Also, if you're using the coupled autopilot mode, you can use one of the altitude hold modes at the same time. Lastly, I'll go over the auto throttle. You need to have this button binded. If you're in the air and you activate the auto throttle, you should see ATC come up and it will just hold your current speed. However, However, if your gear is down and if your flaps are down, then when you press the button, it will activate auto throttle landing mode, which will adjust your throttle to have the correct angle of attack for landing. That was autopilot for the Hornet. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you later.